Number five then from the 2014 Higher Maths Paper 2. A wee integration with a function of a function, but a wee nasty twist in that instead of having the limits and you evaluate the result, you know the result and you have to find one of these limits. You have to find this upper limit called t, so there'll be a little equation there then. Well, what have I got? So that'll be add 1 to the power, power a half, so 3x plus 4 to the power a half. Divide by that power, so divide by a half. But rather than divide by a half, I'd rather multiply by the reciprocal. So that's times 2 over 1. And not forgetting it was a function of a function, a linear function. You divide by the derivative of that linear function, so that derivative is 3. So dividing by 3 means it will be 1 upon 3 is a third of it. And all of this should equal 2 once you've evaluated it from 4 to t. Now, this two-thirds is a common factor. It'll be a common factor of both of the calculations, so you could take it out. So it's two-thirds of the first one, and I think I'll rewrite that. Power of half means it's a square root. So when we're doing the substitutions, it's the square root of, first of all, work it out at t. That'll be 3t plus 4. Then work it out at 4, so it'll be the square root of 3 times 4 plus 4 equals 2. I've just taken the two thirds out. Instead of saying two thirds of this minus, and then another bracket, two thirds of that, I've just taken the two thirds out altogether. Which means, in this next line, whoops, it is, I could just take the two thirds across to the other side. So dividing by 3 means it'll be times 3, and multiplying by 2 means it'll be divide by 2. I've still got the square root of 3t plus 4, but this part I can work out, because that's going to be the square root of 3 fours are 12, plus 4 is 16. So now I'm down to this. It's looking a bit better now, because that's just 4, and that's just 3. So to get my t, all I've got to do is get rid of the 4, get rid of the square root, get rid of the 4, and get rid of the 3. Well, let's do that. So... The square root of 3t plus 4 will be, take the 4 across and add it, that'll be 7. Removing the square root by squaring both sides will be 3t plus 4 equals, maybe I'll show it as 7 squared to show what's happening, that's I've squared the other side. Which means that 3t will be, and of course that's 49, but take away 4. So 3t is 45, and finally... T is 45 divided by 3, 15. So there's the answer.